Hello loves, so today I'm going to show you how I do my flat twist out and knot using the lock method to keep all that moisture in. If you want to see how I do it, stay tuned. Alright loves, I'm starting on clean hair and you're just going to use a comb, my Camille Rose Curl Aid, a leave-in conditioner, you can use any one, but I'm using any body works, and an oil, and I'm using coconut oil. All right, I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair and this just makes it easier to work with. And I'm just gonna section off a portion in the front starting from the middle of my head and section off the portions in the back. Now for each section that I'm clipping away, I'm just gonna do a little bit of detangling and I'm gonna add some leave-in conditioner and I'm going to braid it up just so it'll stay moisturized while I wait to get to it. Time for the LOC method or the lock method. This method is used to lock in moisture. So in the first section, I'm just gonna part my first piece and we're gonna start with L, liquid. This is my leave-in conditioner, but you can also use water. Then the second step is O, which is oil. This is my coconut oil, but you can use any oil you want. Olive oil, avocado oil, tons of oils that you can use. Then I'm just gonna detangle a bit, um, just so I can have a smooth twist. Then the last part, cream. This is my styler, this is my Camille Rose Curl Aid. Um, also for cream, you can use um, shea butter or something a butter type based styler or just regular shea butter but you want to use something thick that seals in all that great moisture after it's all sealed in just gonna go ahead and flat twist up and move on to my next one now if you want a detailed tutorial on how to flat twist just let me know but there's a lot of great ones out there one I recommend is natural 85 Whitney from natural 85 she has a great flat twisting tutorial you can check it out and she walks you through each and every step but it's pretty easy so at the end of the twist I'm gonna make a little knot kind of like a hanging bantu knot and I'm just gonna twist it around um, the twist make a little knot and I'm gonna pin it with a bobby pin or a hairpin um, because my hair doesn't really lock on itself so I have to hold the twist down so I'm just gonna put these little knots at the end of every twist and it's gonna make them curly when it dries And here's what it looks like when it's completely done. As you can see, I parted from the center of my hair just because I, that's where I want um, my hair to fall from. And I'm just going to sleep on it and let it air dry overnight. And it's morning. My hair is completely dried. I'm just going to use some oil. Um, this is my oil mixture. I just spread it all over my hair and start taking down my twists. Taking the hairpin out first and then unraveling slowly. Now see the little curl was made at the end by the bantu knot. And then I'm going to unravel um, going piece by piece where it's naturally separated. And this is where the um, tangle teaser and the detangling comes in because if you take your time and you feel where it's naturally separated, it'll be easy and there'll be less frizz. Another tip for ease of takedown is just twist your hair the opposite way that you twisted it up so it just naturally comes unraveled and it's easy to separate. Now time to pick and fluff and shape. I personally love first day hair. I like that it's flat and I like the fact that it builds later on. So I don't pick out my hair a lot. I just separate my parts and so you don't see the part where I parted my hair. And this is the end result. As you can see, I'm loving it. Tons of shine, tons of definition. I'm just gonna add a little bow to make it nice and cutesy. And there's my style. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna see any more, just leave me a comment down in the comment box. And make sure you like and share this video. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.